What's going on guys and welcome back to some more Super Mario RPG in the last part we made it all the way through Weapon World and uh, the rest of Alice Capital and Weapon World made it all the way to the factory. This part this is the grand finale of it all. We're going to take out Smithy. Basically they're building new weapons and all that but uh... So uh, yeah we're going to uh... we're basically... there's there's um... I think there's four mini fights we have to take out but now we have to take out these mallets again. Bowser, I'm off. There we go. Bowser's doing over 300 damage, but um, yeah. So I think I'm gonna use Bowser and Geno. All right, so let's see what you got. So yeah, I think I'm gonna use Bowser and Geno mainly because Bowser's trying to get his castle back, and uh, Geno's trying to fix the Star Road. So I feel like these are the most appropriate characters to take out back, take out Smithy. So could use the princess, but me. Myself a little bit of a challenge because using the princess is kind of cheating, let's just say. Huh, ah, hope you learned your lesson. We're almost here there, Mario. Come on. What do you suppose the switch does, hmm? What's happening? Huh? What's with the funny face, Mario? Oh, I know, you're trying to make me look, aren't you? I'm not gonna fall for that one. Help me, Mario! Boy, that was scary. I guess the green switch controls the crane. Mario! <laughs> Phew, I finally made it up here. Right, let me help you guys out. Princess! I'm sorry I was thinking I was telling you were the Chancellor. I just want to get things back normal. I want to do my part to help. Princess! Yes, that's it. Any elements we built more in the princess is worthwhile. What can you do to help? I carried all I could, now I can use. And, uh, by, uh, give Max pick me up. Really? I guess, I guess we can buy, um, I guess we can buy a few Max mushrooms, but, um, dude, we got a rock candy. Thank you, Toad. Okay, right, so, uh, yeah, I wonder if Toad had to take that bus thing in uh, Nimbus Land like we did, but, um, I guess let's just advance. And Toad, anyway, so, um, here's the report. Sir, drill bit was, we finished on time. We're ahead of schedule. Make Smithy proud. Good work, everyone. The harder we work, the stronger Smithy will become. The weapons we manufacture here will be, just think of it. Smithy takes over Mars Road, we can do anything we want. Wahaha. <laughs> Not so fast. You sure are a cocky bunch. I rule this world, don't you forget it? It's Mario, the Clay Morton Spirit clones didn't stop him. No, no, leave Mario out of this. I'm the one you need to worry about, not him. Mario, you're about to make the longest jump of your life. You're ignoring me. Okay, so this is the manager. I should get the timing down with the star gun, but um, I think one more hit he's dead. Here we go. I don't think. Okay, Gino's, I think, the only person getting a, gonna get a level up in this video, though. Like the moon over, the day my genius and Brian will be lost. Oh, well. Go to the third room and. You there, are you the one in charge in here? Don't you know what you weapons have been doing to our world? Stop this nonsense at once. I'm afraid that is impossible. I need to send against Smitty will be dealt with my immediate meltdown. Meltdown? You can't scare me, I've got Mario by my side. Senators will be eliminated, production will continue. Anyway, this is the director. And I attacked the wrong person. <laughs> but I get it once again at least, but um. I think if you take them out also, they'll respawn, so, um... They're using Valor up, which means, uh, Vigor up, which means offense and defense go up. And damage, so, um... I might be thinking of the Super Nintendo version if you take them out, they'll just respawn. Apparently not in this version. 
Ooh, Gino's almost on, Gino got close to a level up. That was scary. We can't run away now. We got to get these low lives out of our world. Mario, I'm surprised to see you here. This is the end of the line for you. This is the closest you'll ever get to Smithy, so save him the moment. Huh, you'll be fought over my incredible adventure, the Gunya. Anyway, so, um, the Gunyol is the, um, actually almost thought I took that on one hit, but, um, I like to take this thing out first, because it's the only other thing in the game that knows Breaker Beam, so take that out first. Yay, we're mushroom. Anyway, so, um... Yeah, it's using Breaker Beam. The only other thing in the game knows Breaker Beam, but, um... Well, oh, shit! That took out Gino, so, um... Alright, so here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna use a... Uh, pick me up, Gino. And we're gonna use a, uh... I guess my plan is kind of flawed on that one. I guess Bowser stays Shrimp Eyes. I'm, stays on Mushroom, unfortunately, but, um... Die! Alright. Here we go. And Gino got a level up. This is the last level up we're gonna see in the normal game. Might even in the game in general, but uh, we're gonna use it. We're gonna get our attack up, but um. Hmm, the production line hasn't halted. Look, Mario, this is where weapons come from. This must be where Smithy wakes his weapons. Find the last star piece and stop the factory. We gotta defeat him first. Mario, there's no turning back now. Are you ready? Our quest is almost over. Time comes. Come on, let's get this show on the road. Now. If you're playing the Super Nintendo version, I recommend you save before Smithy. Only if you're playing the Super Nintendo version, because let's just say, much like Culex, Smithy has a lot of HP, and Smithy also has multiple phases, so yeah, you gotta go into this fight pretty prepared. There's Smithy. Hey! There's the last star piece. Huh? Already finished the tour of the factory? Huh. Alright then, how about a little demonstration? Yo, Smithy. Stop making these things and hand over the star piece now. Oh! Oh ho ho ho! So you're Mario. Looks like we're gonna have a little dispute over the star. Hand it over and get out of my castle. My my, we're a little touchy today, aren't we? You know, I'm actually going rather fond of this place. Please don't make us go through anymore. Just give us the star now. Hmm. Better yet, why don't you give me your stars, and I can easily conquer this world. Oh wait, she's a with weapons. Over here now. I'll crush you all. Anyway, this is the final boss in the game. This is, uh, this is Smithy. You can also check the smelter, but this just creates a uh, little shy guys. I don't know, like, sword rain and all that. We're gonna Geo boost Mario. Mario's our best bet to win this fight, so, uh, I think I'm, I, I want to, we're using Bowser and Geno because, um, Bowser, I feel, is appropriate because, um, it's, we're trying to get back his castle, and on top of that, we're also trying to get, um... We're also using Gino because, uh, we'll just... Up, uh, well, we're also using Gino because he's trying to face Sorrow. So I think these two are a good combination. Plus, I want to give myself a little bit of a challenge. I don't, I don't want to use, like, Mallow, the prince, especially the princess. Prin isn't, like, the princess is pretty much cheating, but, um... Yeah, so if you last too long, basically, these things are gonna, um... 
create a, uh, what am I trying to say, a, uh, backwards and like, sword ring. Uh, but we, we should be almost, at least you actually be almost down, but Gino Bush yourself. And hold on, what am I gonna use? Use... Do I have any Coca-Cola's? I have one. Who's use a Mac Cross from Gino? I got a freebie, that's awesome. No. Calm down, Smithy, your head looks like a geezer. Don't get so worked up, they get your blood pressure. You just built this yesterday and the foundation's very weak. So stop shaking the floor. Utterly annoying. Oh, what the? How in the heck? Seething, never have I been so wronged. It is. I will show you my real form. I will show you my true power. I will teach you respect next time my revenge. Anyway, this is the second Smithy form, and as he can turn into different heads, and also he has a uh, 8,000 HP total. So I'll show you what some of the heads' weaknesses are, but um. We already, uh, we already got 682 now. Actually, Mario, when you have the laser, it's gonna do eight, nearly 900 damage. We already got a good amount of his HP now, but um, he's gonna turn into the tank head. So the tank head is actually weak to super jump. So let's see if we can get a good combo with that. Eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, one thousand one hundred thirty-four damage. And Bowser's down. Oh, Gino, you're gonna need to pick me up. So, thankfully, Mario and Gino are resistant to that, but, um, we already took like 2,000 out of 8,000 H8 HP down, so, um, I was only doing 100 damage. His Gino boost is gone, though, so. He's another super jump. Six hundred and nine damage. And Gino Boost Bowser. I think even Bowser attacking with Gino Boost, he should at least do like uh two hundred damage at least. 163. For jump. We might not even not even get to see any of his other phases. We already have a good amount of his HP down, so, um... Ooh, Gino's gonna die, so... You know, you better use a maximum. Um, 100. I also recommend, like, using, like, Gino Flash to take out the bottom part. I guess I'm doing much, as much damage with the lazy shell, so, um... Let's use Gino Flash. Try to see if we can take out the bottom part so we don't get shot at. And let's use a Royal Syrup. Well, even more with the Lazy Gels, we're doing nearly 600 damage, but um. Use, use Geno Flash. 
I, I'm not even sure if he's gonna. He should. He should change forms eventually. Cause he has several different forms. Let's just say. Oh, can't move. That's how you can tell. Is uh, his body has like 1,000 HP. So um. Okay, so even Geno's doing, even Bowser's doing nearly 200 damage. Bruh! That's game! My body and head are burning. It's not possible. I don't believe it. Oh, I'm finished done for. You meddlers. Oh, no. Come on, Mario. Then the last one way up high. That is all seven stars pieces and we've gotten so far, so um everyone. Star Road is back to normal land. I always thought this scene was bad, let's just say. But I forgot I forgot how sad this scene is. Um, it's even sadder in the remake, but um the doll again. Star! Look at it! Everyone's got the star and everyone... Happy, look at this. Overload, what do you mean I'm in OBS? Um, I hope that doesn't fuck up the recording. <laughs> I've, I've really liked how this playthrough has turned out, but uh, So that was Super Mario RPG, the Switch remake, and um, we're just gonna see one last cutscene before the credits. But um, there's there's that whole on the uh, composer and uh, the Sage Elder, aka Frog Fusus. Um, and then there's the kid that had the Geno doll, which introduced us. You no, know, it's like a trip through memory lane. Like this ending sequence is absolutely. Beautiful. There's uh, Yoshi and Croco facing each other in a match, and uh, Yoshi's upgrade from being able to beat Boshi to beating Croco, which is a great improvement. I see.
There's a uh, Valentina getting married to Booster. With uh, Dodo as the minister, I love that. There's the uh, monsters in Monstro Town. I don't think this cutscene's even in the Super Nintendo version. It isn't. There's Johnny Jones looking out at sea. And there's Mallow and his parents. Mallow gets to live the life of a prince. There's Bowser rebuilding his castle. There's Keep. And a shy guy still in Bowser's clown car. And there's more in page. This special scene is not in the Super Nintendo version, but um. And that was the Super Mario RPG remake. And uh, boy, was this a great game to play through, let's just say. I said that the beginning, the very beginning of this playthrough that I try to avoid playing games that are too recent. Like this came out less than a year ago, but um, not only is this one of the best remakes to a game I've ever played, on top of that, like um, Super Mario RPG has always been one of my favorite Super Nintendo games. I've been wanting to do a playthrough since the very beginning of this channel. However, playing this remake made me appreciate the game much more than I did like up. And I've been playing this game since it came out on the Wii Virtual Console. So like the f this remake, the fact that they improved so much for it and the fact that they put a lot of like effort into modernizing Super Mario RPG, it made me appreciate the original much more, honestly. Because, like, getting 100 super jumps is easier than the original. Some of the, some of the things are easier in the original, but, um... I do also think this is the definitive version. Like, if you're gonna play Super Mario RPG, I could recommend the Super Nintendo version, but I could also recommend the remake, so I get to see your personal preference, but, um... I have both a Super Nintendo cartridge of this game, as well as the remake, and on multiple platforms, but, uh... I, I have loved playing this. This is one of those games I absolutely love playing at least once a year. It's like... Earthbound's another one, Majora's Mask another one of them, but like, uh, I always just can't find myself coming back to this game regardless. Honestly, I honestly think the, the remake I might come back to as much, or if not more, than I do the original because, um, and they also turned this, uh, they also made the credits 16-bit like in the original, so, uh, it's interesting some of the things they kind of made 16-bit like the original, like the Culex fight and some things they just modernized it completely, it's like, they did a really good job of modernizing Super Mario RPG for the Switch, which is uh, the point I'm trying to get across. Like, there are probably a lot of younger gamers out there that don't even know this is a remake to a Super Nintendo game from 1996, so... If you haven't played the original, I guess there's uh, always a chance to play the original, but... Um, I apologize if you hear dog barking in the background, but... Um, Way, so um
Anyway, so sorry about that. I had to mute my fucking mic so I could put my barking dog in her crate. But, um, yeah, I love how this turned from, like, a uh, Super 16-bit to uh, modernized graphics also. It's a very, very beautiful design, regardless of the original of the remake. But, um, the very, it's a very phenomenal, like, this is not only a phenomenal game, it's a phenomenal remake for a phenomenal game. It's like, regardless if you're going to play the Super Nintendo version or the remake, like, just try the version. Like, I'm, like, um, honestly, it's on the Switch. What's even stopping you from playing that? I don't know, but, um... Yeah, I do... I would say of a lot of my playthroughs, I'd say this is definitely one of my favorite playthroughs on the channel so far, but, um... My next playthrough is going to be on uh, Mario Golf for the Game Boy Color. It's actually, um, but I am gonna tackle the post game first. I want to do Mario Golf for the Game Boy Color as a tie into my Mario Golf 64 LP, but um, we are gonna do the post game. That's exclusive only in the room. But if you're playing the Super Nintendo version, the game pretty much ends right here. Let's just say. Look, there's Mallow and Gino, and Mallow has the Gino doll. There's Bowser. This like this added scene is not even in the original. Like, there's some cutscenes in this game that are completely different than the Super Nintendo version, to be honest. Fireworks, and um, there's one uh, thing I want to show, but uh, wait till the star goes up in the sky. Anyway, so that was Super Mario RPG. A remake. If we stay at the, the end screen for a while, I think. Hold on a second. I'm thinking only the Super Nintendo version, but let's see. There we go. Plays this music. This same music in both versions, but um. Save your clear data once you do post game phone be available. I'm gonna do that for the next part. So uh, next time it's from RPG, we're gonna talk post game. See you guys then.